Okay, I think we're gonna do basically a full toy review because we're gonna take a look at four of that toys which have been never been reviewed. And I'm not sure if the video is gonna be performed that well. And as you can see, I'm just collecting some of these with that toys that you can see right there. And I'm actually quite feeling anxious today because I don't know how long this video may go for. And it's this one here. This is a 16 pound toy. And uh, this one now I'm gonna start up with. Agro Reef Trigger Fish 5 pack. And that's what the back of the packaging looks like. Looks like I have uh, it looks like a reef trigger fish and a couple of sardines there and a single starfish but it actually comes with two and I'm just hoping that this video may look rough and ready but I'm hoping it also looks a lot more accurate as well so these are the guys that came out from the set here so it's actually going to be a very very simplistic toy view because I'm just coming up towards midnight and it looks well it looks pretty darn cool doesn't it and there's some starfishies here. Seems like they must have ripped off from a certain video game franchise and that one there. Looks very, very cute indeed. And it looks totally excellent. And I think hopefully for that toys may come up with a very cool idea and just feeling like I'm just replicating toys like that. And I'm wondering if toys like these would literally be as great as those. And I think that's a great example of a toy which has been delayed. Next one here, I'm gonna get these out. This product here is a 23 pound toy, and I'm doing this very easily. It's a Pelican Roost versus Fishy Shoal toy pack. And it's very interesting, I'll show you what the Pelicans look like later. But what's quite strange is, is that the artwork looks very, very nice and a bit strange. And what's quite funny is, is that the Pelicans here have got an orange beak on the front part. I think this one here has got an orange beak and orange legs, but for some strange reason, all of the pelicans have got yellow eyes. It's actually, you know, they've actually got yellow bills, but their eyes are actually um, orange in a sense. And this one here looks pretty bent. And sadly, it looks like I've got sardines which have got pen looking eyes, which is very straightforward, strange to be honest, I suppose. Very weirdly done in the way they've been created. And all of these products have eight exclamation marks, meaning that uh, I, I'm not sure if my channel has been demonetized, but I'm actually quite certain in the way my videos have been produced. Now, certainly very, very nice looking uh, things to just look at for people on, in my channel to just look at. And I'm not going to probably pose all the pelicans here because this is just going to be a very quick toy view here. And while my toys, these types of toys have been severely delayed, is basically because, you know what, I think I must have been having a lot of trouble just running out of ideas. And also the demonetization bot I was also facing against. And I'm not sure how good or bad they are. Look at that, they don't even have mouths and stuff, but look at that, they've got orange eyes, which is very important to say. And I'm actually just quite certain in the way I'm just basically making an irreparable and a totally uh, legitimate little toy. But yet again, these toys are from Generation 99, which is this one here, Generation 99.99, .99, which is very, very strange. And actually, we're going to take a look at this one here. This is the Carrion Crow Murder, uh, what's it called, Gang in Grow 5 pack. And it's £8.99 or £9. I can't see a generation number, which is quite strange. And it is a Flapping Birds British Wildlife Collection toy. Look at that, all the crows, they're all in anger, of course. And it looks pretty cool. And I'm actually reviewing these toys because these are, as I said earlier in this video, these are the toys I actually haven't covered for basically a long time. I'm very sorry for being... Actually, I... Uh, I don't know how I would actually say it, but I'm actually feeling quite sorry for the fact that I've actually forgot, <laughs> look at that rough flying eye, to review these toys. And as I suggest, like that crow, I'm actually feeling rather evil, and maybe I'm not. I'm just joking. I'm, I'm actually not very evil because that's the way I'm actually just like. Because it's safe to say that no one's perfect. Uh, the crows, like the pelicans, they have no mouth detailing, of course, like any other flapping bird toy. 
would have or any bird toy from the flip-flap universe would look like we have the beaks like that and to be honest uh, all of these crows are grey and not black which is very um, archetypal and the reason why they made it so grey is because it's either by profit or either let's just say uh, cost as well I think they made I'm pretty sure the reason why these crows were so grey is because I think it's I think it makes them a lot more cheaper which makes it so so good in value if you want to buy a toy like that but I don't think it's that quite realistic in my opinion but we'll take a look at a toy which I think which will be very easy to review it's a breeding sand which turn flock 12 pack yep it's a breeding sandwich turn flock 12 pack 14 pounds and do you remember I did the winter plumage version of these birds in a video that I did, I think it was around in, maybe it was in somewhere in February or March, I can't remember. But this is what all these sandwich turns look like in their breeding plumage, which is very highly irreparable, of course. And we're going to come in and take a look at the birds, because I'm very curious. And we've already seen the whole anatomy thingy bob, and we'll take a look at what these guys look like. And... There they are. Okay, so let me show you what these uh, sandwich turns look like. These birds look quite interesting, don't they? They have this sort of very weird cap feature, I, I suppose. They've got a very weird black cap, which is very common in a summer plumage uh, sandwich turn. This one doesn't look like it's got a very nice performance in terms of its flying. This one may does look like it's great, but one thing I should also pinpoint is if you look closely, uh, the beak has also got a yellow tip on the front, which also for the same for this one here. You know, it's funny, that is actually very nice, and to be honest, I'm not sure how many of these birds can I just literally flap. This one here has been trimmed off because it originally had a rip. Same with this one here, and what's quite strange is that all the birds, as I'm going to be showing you in this video, uh, the flapping bird toys, they're all going to be flapped in a very rough and you know, way in a sense because I just don't know what I'm speaking at the moment. And thankfully enough, their names are all highlighted in blue. I think some of them were highlighted in black, others were highlighted in blue. And I think this video just sums up everything and anything that just because I can make a video rough and ready doesn't exactly mean I can get the least populous of all amount of views. Anyways, I think that's about that in this video, and I've just hoped that all these toys have been covered now, and are hopefully not yet to be delayed, I suppose, which is just totally amazing. The other thing I've actually didn't put in this product is that they actually have the forked tails in them, which is something which is least likely to be common, and I think that's very, very disappointing, but nevertheless, it looks pretty nice. And I've actually made these products because I'm actually just sort of thinking, can I encounter a sandwich turn at this moment? I don't know. Maybe I have to go somewhere where sandwich turn colonies are like. There's also a double towel feature, which I might put in here. Okay, so if we have a look, I'm pretty sure it says double towel feature. That's much better, isn't it? Anyways, I think that's about that in this video. I've only covered all the flip flap toys in a very rough and ready uh, way because these are all the products that I actually haven't covered throughout possibly uh, in Wednesday. And anyways, as always, you're going to see you next, don't you? Thanks for watching and bye for now.